The Microsoft OneDrive app is going to be your most accessed and relied upon file storage folder. When set up correctly, your files and folders will be accessible from wherever you have a computer and internet connectivity. Let's take a look. From your computer, you do have File Explorer. That, as long as you are signed into the OneDrive app, you will have direct access to your OneDrive folder from within. If you want to be able to open a folder and go directly inside your OneDrive folder, click search and type OneDrive. Right click the shortcut, left click pin the taskbar. It places it as a pinned item in our taskbar. So we click the folder with the blue cloud, it takes us right inside our OneDrive. You have a status indicator located at the bottom right hand corner of your system tray, which is the blue cloud that will let you know with whether you have files synchronizing, whether all folders and files have synchronized and are up to date, etc. So if I drag and drop this folder over the bottom right, see the little arrows that indicate that the files are uploading and synchronizing after they do upload. Now this application that is currently physically on the hard drive of this computer, it will upload to the portal. Once they are in the portal, it will then communicate and synchronize between the cloud and your computer. So any changes that were made to any of these folders or files that are inside your OneDrive folder, will be automatically synchronized based on what is changing sync status, uh, whether you are currently synchronizing, etc. When I say that, if I right click the cloud, you can see that you can pause syncing should you ever need to do that for whatever reason. And you can see directly here The internal kind of visual status shows that the files are currently uploading, gives you kind of an estimate or an ETA based on size, whether they are completed or still in process. A feature of the OneDrive, which is nice, please take note of this. Say if you, you utilize videos or files that are large in size. If you right click the blue cloud, left click settings right here, you can see this link for choose folders. If you do work with files that are large in size, say even excess to the size of the hard drive space on the computer that you're using, there is a nice feature where you can uncheck a checkbox for that folder specifically so that you can have access to those files, keep them organized within your OneDrive folder, but they do not have to be physically located on your hard drive. So that is nice because you can have more amount of space in the cloud that you have access to than actual space that's on your hard drive. I'm going to cancel this right now. And we can see at the bottom right, the blue cloud that does show up to date. So we are fully synchronized with the portal. Everything is uploaded and we're looking good. Next, we'll go back into our OneDrive folder. Let's point out a couple of things specifically as it relates to status. In the status column, you'll have a visual way to look and quickly know whether the files are on your computer, whether they are requiring an internet connection because they are available only when online, or whether they're permanently stored on your computer and you have access to them offline, online, wherever you are, and they'll always be there. This apps folder, currently shows a cloud. What this means is I could double click the folder 
it will give you a visual way to see what's inside the folder. However, these files are not physically on my computer. If I were to double click this file, this file would download from the cloud, then transfer physically to the hard drive on my computer. So these are both this file, this folder and file. They are both currently going to require an internet connection in order for me to have access to them, although I can vis visibly see them. The green check mark, that means the files are physically on my hard drive and I do have physical direct access to them wherever I am. Any of these that I double click, they'll immediately open and respond based on uh, their physical location. Say that you need to work offline and you need to always have files physically available inside your folder. All you have to do is locate the file or the folder that you always permanently want to be available to you at all times, whether you're online or offline. Locate that file or folder, right click the file or folder, then simply left click always keep on this device. You can see that it is synchronizing and it should be shown by a green dot with a white check mark. That means that anything inside this folder and the folder itself will always be available to you. If I were to go to the audio folder, if there is a file that has not been opened, has not been accessed, has not been used within a certain amount of time, there is a feature within the OneDrive app. It is nice and it is there to free up hard drive space from your computer. If you do not open a file or folder within that certain amount of time, the application will detect that and will then proceed to free up hard drive space from your computer, just like we could do manually to right click and left click free up space. Then that will then physically proceed to remove the files directly from your computer. You'll still have access to them, but you'll only have access to them while you are online.